this video, I'm going to show real quick some of the new MQTT or native MQTT features that have been added to version 1.5 of Optics. So um, just to show that I am using the latest version, which is uh, the version 1.5 release, which just came out towards the end of October in 2024. And if we look at the um, release notes, which again, if you want to find the release notes, you go to the question mark and just choose release notes. And under the system and system features, it does show that in the 1.5 release, one of the uh, the new uh, things that came into the under the data connectivity um, section here is native MQTT support um, with an embedded broker and the client uh, that has publisher and subscriber capabilities. So at a real high level, I'm just going to show how we can create that broker and how I can publish uh, a tag from from my optics application to that in, embedded broker and then just you know read it through an mqtt client um, also if you go to the help file you know under you know question mark help there is a uh, section on this you know, on the mqtt uh the new features here including you know the uh, the client and the broker uh, setups so to do this um, in version 1.5, we have uh, a new kind of uh, you know item here in the project view uh, for MQTT. So if we just right click on this, we can see that we get a couple options to either create a client or a broker. So I'm gonna go with broker first. Um, and then under broker, basically we have our main properties over here to choose from. Um, uh, such as the listener port um, and uh, you know I'm going to go ahead and change the listener port to the uh, to, to the uh, 1883 get this correct here and uh, so the one limitation at least in this initial release is that there will be 25 max connections allowed so um, so that is a bit of a limit for the embedded. Uh, again, this is an embedded broker inside of Optics itself. Uh, you can you can choose your quality of service, uh, you know, settings. You know, it's the standard MQTT settings here of zero, either zero, one, or two. Defaults at two. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and you can also set up some uh, some other limits and a retain. Uh, you know, if you want to retain. Uh, the value and there's also some security settings here. I'm going to leave this false just for this demonstration and that's pretty much all we got to do to set up the broker, right? Just kind of tweak the security settings and tweak any of these general configuration settings. Um, now to go ahead and create a client, I'm going to right click again and I'm going to say MQTT client and it comes up with this client one. Uh, in the at, so at the root level of the client, we have some properties here, such as the broker address. And I'm going to leave this as localhost because we are going to be using the embedded uh, broker. So that one it will be a localhost. I will change the um, port to match the 1883 that I uh, set my broker to. Client ID, you know, basically what what do you want your uh, client ID name to be, we can change that, but I'm gonna leave it default to FT Optics one. And uh, do you wanna enable security? In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and say false. Um, but if we did you know, keep that true, we could set up um, some of our uh, um, security settings here. Next, I need to basically right click on this client and say, am I gonna be a subscriber or a publisher? And in this case, I'm going to publish. I want to publish a, a tag or a variable that's inside of my optics application and send it to the broker. So I'm going to use publish. So for, under publish, we basically have just a few options here. Uh, sampling mode. Do you want to be periodic, none, or on change? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say change in value just for this example. Um, then we have a folder, which is basically going to be where is the tag in in the uh, application coming from. So the folder that I'm going to use is the model folder. Um, because what I've done is I've uh, I've added a 
a tag or a variable underneath the model folder called tank one level. And we will basically publish this, this variable uh, to the broker. And for the topic, I am going to call this tank one, um, just for, you know, just for uh, something to give it here real quick. And uh, we could we could set our uh, our Q of S um, you know values again uh, to either uh, zero one two, and if we want to have a retain setting to be true or false. And that's kind of actually all I got to do um, to do this. Now, this is the same application I was using in my um, some of the logics videos I recently made with the one point five you know updates for embedded tag. Uh, or extended tag properties, as well as reading the uh, tag-based alarms. So I already have a little bit of a screen set up here um, that'll basically allow me to, to change a tank level. So I'm going to go ahead and start the, the emulator, which will fire up here. All right, so we have a uh, just a simple tank that I can control the level on. Now, to be able to see that we're, you know, getting MQTT data, I'm going to use my, uh, this MQTT Explorer um, application, which is a separate little uh, tool that we can just, you know, acts as a client. And uh, I've already got a optics um, connection configured here. And all, the, all I have here is a name called optics. Um, and then I have the local host and the port 1883 that I used. And I'm gonna go ahead and say connect. Now when I do that, if I were to actually move some data here, you see that I get tank one, and I get a tank one, and I get a value of 24, which is exactly what the value is right now in the project. Um, then if I were to come down here to uh, to change this again, say so change it again, we can see that we're getting, um, you know, in, in my historical uh, little window here, um, or in history window here, I'm, I'm getting, you know, changes. Again, I'm only gonna, I'm only sending on, on change. So um, I am getting a little bit of a, a, a historical trend line going here. But if I keep changing the value every so often, we'll see that I am getting data passing from this application to my MQTT um, client, which is kind of acting as a subscriber here at the moment. So just showing how quickly and easy that was for me to get a, uh, you know, to publish an MQTT value uh, to my local embedded uh, broker, and then be able to kind of see that data in, in a different uh, client application. So pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, you know, this is again, new in version 1.5. Um, you know, there are some limitations to it. Of course, the number of uh, connections for the broker and, and some other things that will kind of continue to get developed further in future releases. But, um, but native MQTT um, capability uh, now in Optics version 1.5.